for coming in and thanks for watching. It's one thing to be a cheater, but it's a whole nother story when that cheater is also a two-timer. Today's guests are confronting their lovers and telling them your two-timing days are done. Please welcome Courtney to the show. Courtney, how you doing? All right, Courtney, why are you here in New York City? I'm here because my best friend is a lying little slut and slept with my boyfriend. Really? Now, what Definitely. evidence do you have of that, Courtney? Well, see, I have went through his phone and found text messages between the two talking about, oh, last night was so good, oh, she's so big. Maybe they rode a roller coaster together. Sent her, sent him out of her. Really? And then tried to and, and tried to deny it. He he admitted to it, but she's not playing up to it. And wasn't there some reference to his male equipment? Yes, she's she's like, oh, you're so big. No, see, we we used to be best friends. We we're we we're really, really really good friends, and me and my relationship was going great. But then he started like not coming home at night, not texting me back, like getting all late and stuff. And then. So him and her flirting together right in front of my face. How do they flirt? How do, how... Like talking about, hey baby, you beautiful today. Oh, shut up. No, stuff like that. Like stupid. Like right so in front of my face. So your woman's intuition, the antenna. Yeah, but world. I mean, she's my best friend. So you know, I'm just thinking she's playing around with him. Like just, like, you know how best friends do. You and your best friend. Mm -hmm. I don't know, but so. Do to, yeah, too close to home. So. How do you know for sure they slept together? Because he told me. Oh, he, he told you. He told me. So, he admitted it to you. Yeah, he, he's telling me that he they slept together and stuff, but she's saying, no, it's not. He's lying. He's lying. This is not true. But I'm like, if he's telling me, why don't you just admit it? Because we used to be close like this, and it, maybe we can work it out, because I still want to be friends with her, but if she can't, if she's lying to me... Wait a minute. Now, say that again. A lot of the ladies don't understand. You still want to be friends? I mean... I don't want a, a man to come in between a, a, a best friend. You know, I don't want any guy to come in between a best friend. Well, she's the one to put herself between you and your boyfriend, isn't well, she? Yeah. But, so, the, but, she, your but boyfriend... she's telling me she's telling me it's not true. So if it's not true, then maybe we can still be friends. But if it's true, she needs to go. So at one point he said it happened with Stacy, your your best friend. And not now he's backtracking like a cornerback in the NFL. He's, yeah. He's going... like, see, what... What's he doing now? He's wanting me back, of course. He's like, oh, I want you back, baby. I love you so much. Please, let's get her out of our lives, blah, blah, blah. We need this to go on. And now he denies it. No. So I don't know what's true. This needs to come out. He needs to tell the truth, and she needs to tell the truth, and we need to figure out what's going on. And that's why you're here and today. That's why I'm on this well, show you want to know today. right now. All right. Right now. Please welcome Courtney's ex best friend, Stacy, to the show. Stacy, come on out. There we go. Sit down. Now, what do you have to say about this situation? Because these are terrible charges laid upon you. Yeah, there are terrible charges. And the fact that she doesn't believe me, even though she's caught him cheating on her before, not with me. Not with me at all. Well, how can and hold up, hold up. Why He's why talking you, to me. Will you send Please? a picture of your um, There might have been a moment of weakness, and I apologize for moment that. Of and I told her up front about it. So she should believe me anyway. First of all, here's the picture. Of all, now, wait, what, what, what? You denied it. You didn't tell it up front. You denied it for a whole Why night. would you send this picture? To, to, you, to your best you friend's you boyfriend. Okay, first of all, look at it this way. I've been friends with both of them before they even got together. So I'm kind of the, I was kind of being the middleman, honestly, because I was trying to get them back together. I was trying to build up his self confidence because he's really build down. Build up his he, self confidence. She broke up with him and he's a. Wait, 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 so, Watch your language. Because she's supposed to touch you. Please don't touch me. That gives don't you permission touch me. to send him a picture of your. I don't think so. What happened to chicks? Did I? What happened to chicks? That's the way it is. Now, answer this question, Stacy. Why good job, would you? Good job. We use my line. Way to go. Why would you send a picture of your derriere to her boyfriend? What? Don't talk to me about self-esteem. I was desperate, and I. Uh, obviously, because I would not touch that man because he's gross. Have you flirted with him like Courtney? Said? I did, but why would you? No, 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 no. It's not like that. It looks like I'm flirting. I was like, hey, I hope you have a good day, stuff like that. We work. Oh, at bars. Watch your language. Like, wait, wait. Like we we work at bars. You know about this. We that's our job. We flirt with people. That's how we get tips. Yeah. Did, but did you man, text? You're flirt with my man. Did like, you text oh, him? Really? You have to text oh, him. Oh, oh, hey, well, hey, hey. Hey, hey text hope text you him. have a good day. Is oh, that's hardcore flirting, oh, but, isn't oh, it? Hey, I'm gonna send you a picture. Oh, because well, you didn't see the picture that he sent to me. That's the reason that even happened. Wait, what picture with. did he send to you? He sent me a picture of his of, of, of his mail package. Mm -hmm. Is what you're talking about? <laughs> yeah. Well, did you 
What, when you got that, what did you say in return? How did you text him back? Nothing. I just sent that picture. Honestly, that was it. You took a lie detector test. Is that mm -hmm. correct? Did you sleep with her boyfriend? No. Mm. Sure you did. He said okay. at one point that you did. Yeah, he said that because he's trying to get us not to be friends because you know he messed up. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. what it is. Exactly. Honestly, Courtney is a great girl when she's not being a slut. So. But I'm not being uh, a slut. You're the one sending pictures of my boyfriend. Oh, I'm sorry. So how does that make uh, me slut? I'm sorry. How many of your friends, did, uh, of his I mean, friends did you sleep with before you two got you're together? You're a homie hopper. What's a homie hopper? That, that's when you're, you're, you go around to sleep with a group of friends. Who does that? You or her? her? She does it. That's how they got together. They were like, oh. I mean, obviously, one person sleeps with her. They all know what she can do, so. Uh -huh. Courtney has said she wants a relationship back with you as her BFF. Are you willing to have a... Honestly, do I Do you was, care? I do care. And honestly, I, I came on the show. Obviously, I care, right? Yeah. Okay, then. No. Some of the things you're saying. you don't care. Obviously, I do care. Why, why would I come all the way to New York when we could have resolved this at home? You're talking Obviously, to her. Obviously, I care. Do you believe she well, wants not, to be a girlfriend? I mean, you're really, Stacy. How, how about a moment of honesty and a little bit of bearing your heart? Courtney, tell, tell Stacy what you wanted to happen after the show. I mean, as far as friendship between you two, tell her what you want. If, if for some reason you were telling the truth and you didn't sleep with him, maybe we can be friends. But if, if it happens, I think we need to part our ways. Honestly, I want to be friends, but I don't think it's worth it anymore. Because you I don't wanted... believe me anyway, so what does it matter? Well, if he tells me straight up that you oh, saw him, he tells you straight up that you caught him. You, you saw, you followed him. him. You have followed him, him when he's gone you... out and he doesn't go where he says he's going to go, right? Oh, but you believe him? You still believe him? That doesn't make any sense. That's supposed to be my man. You're supposed to be my man. You know what? You are dumb blonde for a reason. It's all right. That doesn't make it right for you to send a him. Do you think Chris ought to be with her? Heck no. Chris is coming up next. We'll be right back. Stay there. Best friends battling over a boyfriend. I do not want him. Two-time cheater, and today they're facing the music because the truth is being revealed. Before we bring out Chris, at the end of the day, the reason you're both here is to maintain this girly relationship. And Chris, I think, you know, men come and go, but hopefully this firm relationship, almost like sisters, uh, will remain after the show. Uh, can you understand a little bit, Stacy, that Courtney, I can see in her eyes, she's hurt by what her boyfriend told her and hurt by what you did. Are you understanding I this? I understand that, yeah. Of course I understand that. I do mean, you, I'd be hurt too. Do you care? I care. I'm here. I care. I apologize. We'll I want my ducks. This is me showing that I care. Okay. All right? We'll see. All right. You called her a slut. You yeah. yeah. So I'm, I'm sorry. You that's, an like odd way. that's an odd way of saying that, you care. That is. I care, but you know what? I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be honest with her. I, I'm sorry. I think you're a slut. My bad. Damn. Courtney? I mean, I learned from the best, right? Please welcome Stacy's ex-boyfriend, Chris, to the no, show. No, Chris. no, 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 no. Not my ex-boyfriend. Oh. Her ex-boyfriend. Oh. Oh. Chris, I don't know. Nice to meet you. Sit down here. Now. Now, I might have misspoke your, 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 your Courtney's, right? Ex. And Courtney's ex. I'm grimy. Yeah, not you're grimy. grimy. Look at you. First of all. <laughs> oh, you look good right now. They just you up in the back. Oh, that's, that's why. What they did. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're the one that sent the naked pictures. Yeah. Hey. You're the one that sent the naked pictures. Hey, I ain't okay, got to go save ahead. something myself. Every time you open that mouth, you just keep looking ridiculous. So go oh, ahead. Oh, really? Okay. All right. Why well, don't you tell your side of the story then? Chris, what you, first, what do you have to say to Courtney about what happened? You, you, didn't you say to her at one point you had sex with Stacy? Did you tell her that? Yeah. Now, why? Come see, on. See what happened was. Let me. Let, see what happened was. Lying. See what happened was. I already know you're lying. I was in rehab. Ain't about. <laughs> no, 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 no. I was in rehab. And we broke up in February. My best, one of my best friends, Walt, passed away in an accident. And she decided, oh, hey, I'm done with you. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get the back real quick. Pay back some you know what I'm saying? So what'd you do to get her back? You slept with Stacy to get her back? No, I told her I did. I told her I did. You said you did. Yeah, I said I did. To hurt her. Pretty much. To make her jealous? I don't give a I don't give a I think y'all did. Y'all are just I don't give a okay. if you're jealous. Yeah, so why would y'all right. be texting? Why would y'all be doing all that stuff if you didn't it really do it? It happened one time. That's it. It was one time. That's all it, it was. Time. Weren't you in love with Courtney? Courtney? It was. One time. You ain't supposed to what, was do I? it one time. You're my best friend. Was I in love with Courtney at one point?
Are you in love with her now? Do you want her back? Not really. Uh, that's what not, uh, not really. He says that right now. But not, I not, thought you wanted her mm -hmm. back. You're here to tell her that you love her and that you never slept with Stacy and that you're sorry for what you did. What changed? What something changed? I don't know. I just thought about it. I guess. I mean, <laughs> I mean, if, if you want to be real, I mean, I just thought about it. But, uh, like, See, really? Courtney, did you blow him off last night? Yeah. Did you hook up with another guy last night? I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, she hooked up with another guy. She did? With, she did. A, with a British accent, too. I mean, a yeah, British accent? Yeah. I thought of you on top of that. that. I was 100% yeah. single right now. I ain't even yeah. f***ing yeah. with anyone I want to. Hey, the funny thing is, I was the one who brought the guy to her. No, sure. Really? True. So yeah. what changed right. is that you Make wanted, sure you came to New York to hook. Hey, hey, you know what? I have nothing but love, nothing but love for you. All right? I will do everything in my power for you if you need it. But, sure. oh, but you're gonna what would I do but last you're night? You're going to turn her best friend against oh, her, yeah. too. But that you're totally gonna, makes you're sense. Gonna you care a lot. You care a lot, don't friend. you? Okay, that's cool. I do when I have to do it. You know? but you're going to try to hook up my best friend, but you're going to do whatever it takes to be with me. Or, or do you, you want to be with Stacy now? Or Hell no, I don't want to be with no Stacy. Trust <laughs> me, honey, I never wanted to be with you, first of all. You came here with the idea, Chris, I did. of saying to Courtney you want to hook up with her while in New York City last night. You tried to get with her, she rejected you, slept with some British guy, <laughs> and now, what? Oh, well, well, oh, oh, and you were home alone, that's right. Yeah, I don't want to be with you. How did that's you exactly right. Where, where'd you sleep last night? Where did I sleep last night? Really? Oh, well, where did you sleep last night? Oh, I'm sorry, when I walked in the room, it smelled like sex, so I walked into his room. Yeah, I'm sorry, you so think you I did anything with him? With him? You slept with him? Really? Okay. Really? Okay, you so think you I did slept... something with him? Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, okay, that's cool. All right. I'm sorry, I didn't want to hear you. Somebody so in our so room that we had to share together. Yeah, we didn't have sex. We didn't do anything. Okay. No. Why would we do something? I do not want him. I do not want any of this. Why would you send him Because I, mean, I was drunk and it was one time. Were you hoping to break up, up, up their hold friendship? Hold up, hold up. When you. You know what? You know what? I think this is crap because I just apologized to you. I just warmed up and you're still yeah, you throwing it in my face. Yeah, you just slept in his bed last night, Stacey. No. Do you still want him? Do you want him? Do you want him? Do you want him? Obviously not. You want him? I'm an ex-man. I don't get all right, well, let's do this. The I'm resolution. In the middle of the, like at the end of the day, you took a lie detector test. You're I no, did. And you're, you're, you're confident you're going to pass it. Yep, positive. Were you trying, by lying in your view, to Courtney about what you did with Stacy, Chris, were you trying to break up their friendship, and have you been successful? I mean, I've been successful to a certain extent. Yeah, I was trying to break them up. Cause... Why? Why? Yeah, but he's ruined everything. He's ruined our stuff at work now. People are, like, siding with both of us. People want to talk to each other. Like, it's ridiculous. That, that needs to stop. It's a workplace. Well, that's... We need to leave our drama well, you know out the door. That, that... So you see each well, so other I succeeded. every day. So I succeeded no, in what I wanted to do. You, you, you too. And, and at I work, see him I at all. Hey, you don't want to see him. Heck no, I don't want to see him. Really? Your face makes me cry. No, I don't want to see makes you. Makes you cry. Yeah, but so you I, slept with him last night. I did. I did him. not sleep with him. Who'd I slept you? next to him, fully clothed. Nothing happened. Nothing will ever we'll happen. Oh, okay, fully lie detector fully test. It. Go ahead, bring it out. Bring out the lie detector you took test. That yesterday. We're gonna bring it out. We're gonna have the lie detector. I'll take one right now. I'll take another one right now if Go I need ahead. to. Hey, I'm just chilling. You know Chris, what I'm saying? are you saying you had sex with Stacy last night? Oh, I didn't. I'm just messing you, around. You're messing around. Yeah. You didn't. So you two are done. Oh, you I'm two done. work together, and you came to New York City, hopefully, to have a better work environment so you two can work together. Are we making progress? Not really. Not really. You, well, obviously not. I mean, you can't stop being childish for two seconds Courtney, just to what forgive happens somebody. What, 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 just to forgive what, somebody. What, what happens when the lie detector comes out? What if she passes? We'll, 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 we'll talk about it. Oh, we'll, we'll talk about it? You know what? I mean, You're not worth talking to, to I'm anymore. I'm good. Because I'm good. He, he, he said you slept together. You sent him a picture. You texted him. You're not supposed to do that. That's what I said. Wait till the lie detector comes out. Either way, wait till the lie detector comes out. What do y'all say? Go ahead. And you slept in the same bed with him last night? Chase before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. When the room anymore. stings. I don't really and care then on anymore. top of that, on top of that, you're somebody right next to me. I'm not going to go to sleep like that. Hey, you weren't no. even in the room. Rather... I Chris, are you enjoying this? Are you enjoying this? You see the smile you, you on my face? Like, I'm just kidding. You like the cat fight. You, know you like it. I'll tell you. I, I yeah, because you're not being called out for once. You broke them up. Which you should be. I did it. You did it. You broke go. Why would you girls put up with his involvement in breaking you two up? Why, you, why, why don't you forget That's about it? That's why I try to resolve it to begin with. This has been going on for months. I've tried to resolve this twice. When we get the Every results later on, if she passes it, are you two willing to go out, get a latte, 
Maybe be friends again and put Chris in the background. Forget about Chris. Lots of. I don't want anything to do with him anyway. Good. Courtney, is He's that possible? Already, as far as I'm concerned, he doesn't exist. I'm not saying it's not possible, but I don't know. Because. All right, let's do this. We're going to have the results of the lie detector test later in the show. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. More cheating suspicions. What's there? Some Teresa recruiting going on. Oh, yes. Yeah, let's talk about that. And best friend feuds headed your way. I'm not trained by nobody. I run this train. I run, I run this train. If you're in the New York area, being a part of this makes the heart grow fonder, but sometimes all it does is raise suspicions. Please welcome Corey to the show. Corey, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Bro. Talk to me about your relationship with Tiffany. What's going man, on? Man, I believe my girl, two years, Tiffany been cheating, man, with her ex in New Orleans. That's what I believe. Wow. Well, why? Well, it all started out about two years ago. Two years ago, Valentine's Day. You know what I'm saying? I start seeing little text messages on her phone telling my, oh, babe, I love you, and I miss you, and I want to marry you. So I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Well, what, what, what is this? And they weren't from you. They weren't from me, Bill. Trust they, me. They were from her ex. From her ex. She's like, oh, no, he just calls me and texts me out the blue, and I don't even talk to him. Don't no man contact no female without no type of encouragement. Period. Period. I'm not going to be calling your phone, and you not answering me. Period. Come on now. So Valentine's Day, I'm calling her. Call him. She not answering the phone. She not reaching me. Special day for lovers. Valentine's Special Day. Special day for lovers. I can hear. So, I can think situations are developing right now. We Please get go there. Ahead. I go to the house. I go through her phone. I, you know, I, I got something on my chest. I'm like, I'm gonna go through her phone. I'm looking in her phone. I'm like, okay. Oh, you've been talking to him the whole time when I was trying to reach you. This was oh. been going on. I show her. She's like, no, it wasn't like that. And this, that, and the third. I'm like, whatever. So they're talking about going to New Orleans, and we're going to talk this out. She needs closure. And They'll be this. walking to New Orleans. Man, whatever, man. They're so, going to be going together without you. <laughs> without me. So she goes there. I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm not talking to you. It's whatever. So she goes. She comes back. She's like, oh, it wasn't really like that. We just talked. I didn't even wear nothing sexy. No beads. I just had a big sh I haven't seen a bead, a Mardi Gras flash, nothing. or nothing. nothing. So she come back, and I'm like, um, you know what? I'm going to let it go. It's, all, it's only been like four months in a relationship. It's kind of early. I'm kind of feeling her, you know what I'm saying? She, she's a woman, you know, on that aspect. But she's just sneaky. She's sneaky. She's a sneaky woman. Yeah, she's a sneaky woman. So when she comes back... I let it go. There's another is. I'm like, so what am I supposed to do every time you want to go to New Orleans? Like, I'm just supposed to... Yeah, that's what I'm Why saying. Why don't you go with her? That's what the plan. She's like, just come with me. You can see how it is. That is nothing going on. Next instance, New Orleans trip coming up. It's a funeral. It's not even nobody she's related to. It's her goddaughter's grandfather, uncle's cousin, <laughs> sister, mama. You know what I'm saying? It's they. They coming out. So, no, no, listen to me, man. Let me turn my seat around. Turn it so, around. So, yeah, let, let's, let's get this face on. So... She, um, she's like, well, it's this funeral. I'm like, well, I'm going to go with you. You know, support. I love you, boo. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to go down there with you. Oh, uh, yeah. No, uh, listen to this. Listen to this. So when it's time for her to go, it's Friday. She's like, well, you know what I'm saying? You can't go because you have to work Friday. I'm like, Friday's the wake. Like, we can make it for the funeral Saturday. I had just started my new job. It was a good job. But I had to work for six months, you know, before I could take any days no off. Vacay no six. vacay for six months. Okay, fine. So I'm like, babe. You could wait a day, you know what I'm saying? She's like, no, I have to be there for support. This is not even your family, man. Like, who is this guy? <laughs> so she goes down there. I'm mad or whatever. But I said it in my head. I said, watch. I Why said, not? Saturday night. I'm what not... happened? Yeah, Saturday I... night. She went down there. I couldn't she went reach down. her. She couldn't reach her at all. Didn't Without answer you. I'm dying to meet her. Please welcome Corey's girlfriend, Tiffany, in the show. Tiffany, come on out. Let's go. Come on, Let's go. What is this? Come on, Watch out. So what? So what? So what? For real. So what? For real. So what? 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 what happened? Saturday night. Saturday night. Why you answer your phone? Why you answer your phone? Why you answer your phone? I was asleep. Like I told you. She goes to the bathroom with her phone. You can shut your mouth. How you know? I don't see you telling you anything. Because you told me, huh? You told me that's how you know I do all that. The next time she wants to go to New Orleans, why you don't go? Her friends like, oh, we gonna pay for you to come down. I was gonna go. I was gonna go. But what happened? I was gonna go. What happened? What happened? Why didn't I go the second time? She's like, go? yeah, you want to go to New Orleans? I'm go? like, yeah, I'm going to go. Fine. You ain't going nowhere.
Wednesday. Have a seat. Have a seat. Wednesday. Have a seat. Have a seat. Wednesday come. Wednesday. Wednesday come. Wednesday. You Wednesday. sure you want to go? You really sure you? I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Thursday come. Man, I don't know. I don't really want you to come because you know because it was I don't really real. got no money like that. But why you tell me to come the first time? What you want me to come? But what you said? Because I didn't know I it was gonna be all there. I can come every time you go, right? What Listen to this. Listen to this. You want to talk about Listen old boots? Listen to this. One at a time. One at a time. Talk about she got. Let's talk about this baby you got. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about it. 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 Let's talk about
But at that time, I was single, so I could do that. It doesn't and I, matter. And, and Your flirtation's too to the next level. Travis, <laughs> have you ever cheated <laughs> on <laughs> Eric um, with anybody? With no, Terry I, have, or anybody? I haven't. He knows about a kiss that happened in the in the bathroom, but tell me about the kiss. It was it was in the club. We, um, me and Terry, every we were all there. We were all drinking. Me and Terry go to the bathroom, and it was a moment that that a that moment happened. in time. It was. It, we were drunk though, you know. So it. So just, it doesn't it just matter then. What has he done? Is he like I just said, we'd be in the club. He's known for dancing, gyrating, and then, ooh, I like what you got. Like, come on, like that's all. That's I don't do that. You you you're known for that, not me. <laughs> Eric, why why do you distrust? Why do, why do you see Terry? Why don't you two get along? Terry and I, we used to be very, very best friends up until about a couple weeks ago. What happened? When I celebrated my 25th birthday, we were out at dinner, and one of my friends nudged me and was kind of like, did the head motion to make me look at Travis and Terry. And, you know, we, I was at the table here, and there was a space between us and another table, and I looked, and Terry's rubbing on his thigh. Do you think Terry's a slut? I, I don't think. I know he is. You know he is? Yes. You're going to call Terry a slut right now. I will call Terry a Please slut Please right welcome now. Eric and Travis's friend Terry to the show. Sleeping with Travis. Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yes, God. Yes, God. Travis, it's time for you to put the cheese on the crack. Like, like, you, <laughs> like you said. Actually, like like you said, that was done last night, actually. Like, like you said, there was a time that we did, we did hook up um, a couple of months ago. But that uh, was it. Once, you know, the, <laughs> once to the, I mean, I'm not really keeping count. So why don't you be honest trip. when I've asked you these things before? Because I didn't feel like that was the right time to say. But it was the right time. But, but on that television that they is, you probably know. You're, you're not probably innocent know. though. Exactly. That's what, 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 what I'm saying. Do you do? Terry, Terry, what, what do I do? What do you do? Since you know, you want to pull out phones right now? Pull, pull, pull up phones. What can you pull out? Pull, pull up apps. Apps. What are you talking about? What do you mean? What we're talking about? Yeah. What do you mean apps? There's oh, a, so nobody knows. There, there's, there's certain applications think... on your phone to where, you know, if you're a, a gay the, man, the, you can find the closest gay boy men to that you want to have sex with. And he has profiles. She's looking, a, he's looking, the number one, he's the number one profile. Sex so you're saying there's a gay app locator? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do you have he, it on your he phone? He probably has oh, somebody yeah, yeah, else But I'm single. Eric, is that true? I've been on there before. Yes. I've been on there before. But that was somebody in here having a hard time. Proud. It's no, not just one time. Why would you have that app on your don't phone? Don't <laughs> phone. <laughs> because right. you're the Lord. Right. That's why. Right, exactly. Don't and that picture's recent. The middle one is in the in the beach. You have some explaining to do. <laughs> yes, you do. Like yes. I said, that was when me and him were having a hard time, and I decided that's not an excuse. That is. I was drunk and I kissed him, so that's my excuse. But that's my best friend. I'm not messing with your best friend. It doesn't matter. You're my boyfriend, but you're looking for dudes to talk to. Yes, because I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Okay, so. If you're not happy, then end it. Happy. If you're not happy, then walk out the door. I'm not. I'm not keeping the door well, locked. Well, that's the case. Then we're done. Then. Okay, and you're done. And you're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. You're done. Every time I see you, every time I see you, I tell you there will be an issue. And you take care of me every time you do it, baby. Well, let him. Every time. Let him because you're gonna have to take care of him. You're gonna have to take care of him. I do very well. Very well. If that's on the plate, you're gonna take care of him. You're not taking care of him too much. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not getting too much. Are you two now a couple now, and this couple's done? No. We're couple now. Time. Will you be back? And that's the problem because no. that's all you're worth no. is a night time. Oh, that's fine. No. I'll be all those no. things, but no. I'm not on Never. there. We're not, we're not, we're not, we're not a couple. Added. We're not going to be a couple. I've been having it, though. So. Listen to what he's I saying. Had had you sound stupid and you look foolish. Uh, uh, and you look insecure. Uh, no, I can look insecure, yeah, but we'll be back with more. Just Stay right there. If you're in the New York area, be a part of our studio audience so you can talk back with Bill. To let your voice be heard, send an email to tickets at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call us at 1-888-710-TICKETS or text TICKS to 95902. Message and data rates may apply. It's time for you to be part of the solution. Here's today's question. Earlier, Courtney accused her ex-boyfriend Chris and her baby. I got the baby. Are you now sleeping with Travis? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely. Yes, God. Travis, it's time for you to put the cheese on the crack. Like, like you... Romance has 
is soured for our guests today because they're learning their lovers are also two timing cheaters. Let's get the results of the lie detector test. And let's first go to Stacy. Best friends, Courtney and Stacy. This guy with that tongue out of his mouth. Hold on, I just want to see your face. Put it back in. Hold on. Uh, hold on. You want, all right. I want to see your face. I want to see. All right, here it is. Number one, Stacy. We asked Stacy the following three questions. Stacy, did you send nude photos to Chris? Nude photos. You said no, and that was true. It was partially nude, but not completely, so that, that was good. Here's the big one. Number two. St Stacy, did you have sexual relations with Chris? You said no. And that is true. Exactly. Oh, what? How dumb do you feel right now? How dumb? Please tell me how dumb you feel. One last question. Let's go to number three. Right. Number three. Have you had any sexual contact with Chris while he with, was with Courtney? You said no. And that was also true. Okay. Thank you. Now, I, I want to hear something. And, and I want to hear something. But, Chris, you were supposed to take the lie detector test, and you admit it to the operator cheating on Courtney numerous times, but you said to the lie detector operator, you never cheated with Stacy. Yes. That's true. Mm -hmm. Courtney? Oh, Courtney, exactly. the floor. Thank you. Courtney? Courtney, yeah. all right, the floor is yours with Stacy. I'm sorry for bringing you on the show. Are you in shock a little bit about I this? I am. You thought for sure she did it. I thought for sure you did it. Yeah, now look how stupid you look. Well, look how stupid you look. Do you but you know what, though? But you know what, though? I love you so much as my best friend. That is cool. We can work this out. You're upset this about this. This is a newly Explain what's in your heart. Over. Explain what's in your heart. I love her. She's my best friend. She's like my sister. So, you know. I'm sorry. He told me. Yeah, y'all can sit next to each other all day. Sit down. Get out of here, Brett. Every dog has this day. All right, my that's our bud. All right, let's move on now. Here we go. Are you ready for this? Uh huh. Tiffany? <laughs> Corey, what does this mean to you if she passes this test? If it passes, it means everything to me. It means I got my woman, I got my queen. It means a lot. It means a lot. What if she, oh my gosh, I mean, what if she flunks the test? <laughs> I mean, if she flunks, man, it's, it's gonna break my heart. I mean, we live together, we just got a house together. She, I, like, I love her kids. Like, it's, it's over. You know what I'm saying? All right, if she passes it, will you stop accusing her of all this stuff and quit being paranoid? She says you're paranoid. Hey, man, when you love a woman, you got a beautiful woman, man, you be protective. She's that a good woman. That P, straight up. Let's get it on. All right, let's do it. Let's get it. Number one, we asked Tiffany three questions. Tiffany, have you had sex with your ex since you and Corey have been together? You said no, and that was the truth. Okay. Not yet. We got you two more. Hold on, hon. We, more got, we got two more now. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that was have you I had sexual about. contact with anyone besides Corey since the two of you have been together? You said no. She passed that. <laughs> she passed it all. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, hold on. Now, Corey, what do you have to say? To, what do you have to say? Look here, babe. I'm sorry, no. man. You know that, uh, you know, <laughs> me, man. <laughs> you know, you know, I love you, bro. I told you, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I told you. All right, we heard from our guests. It's now time to hear from my audience. It's time for Talk Back with Bill. <laughs> yes, honey, I got it. Hi, my comment is for Courtney. Um, I think you need to drop both of them because she is not your friend, first of all. You saw how she acted when you came out here. And also, you look like a cracked out Justin Timberlake anyway. <laughs> how I acted, I was defending myself. Uh -huh. My question is for Miss New Orleans. I'm sorry, I forgot your name. Two things. Actually, not a question. Your hair is fantastic. Um, if you love him and, and you want to be with him and you want to work it out and he's having a problem with all these trips, then why so many girlfriends trip? Why not a couple's trip or maybe yeah. you and him? Tiffany, how about that? Next okay. time you go to New Orleans, take him with you. He needs to clear the air with the X thing, and I think he'll be a little bit more 
He'll, he'll be a little bit more easier to want to go home with me now. Before, he just thought that he was going into something blind, like they was going to run up on him and with ammunition and all this stuff here. Yeah, so yeah, it so kind of eases yeah. it a little bit. So I think he'll be a little bit but more. Is that where your ex lives in New Orleans? Yes. So well, why why keep going there without him? That's always going to be an area of It's tension. dangerous. It's That's not be a that I go without him. It's just the circumstances that we, when I go, He's probably not able to go. It's been different circumstances. But Corey, part of, part of her family's in New Orleans, right? Yeah, you have family members? I mean, I don't want to not tell her, no, yes, you can't go see your family. family. So go like, with her the next time. Go I'll be trying. She'll be like, no. You <laughs> She only want me to go. So my question is for uh, Courtney and Stacey. Why? You two are beautiful women. He is one of the most unattractive men I've ever seen. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you guys fighting over him? And not even fighting over him, but you, why would you even send him any pictures? He doesn't deserve that. I was he drunk, doesn't. desperate, I don't know. Honey. He is just one of the Sometimes most, you guys can do better. Sometimes you're, you really I are. I hope the man blind. last night was better for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back with more. Stay right there. Is it possible to regain the trust in a two-time cheating lover? Please welcome relationship expert Stacy Nelkin on the show. Stacy, how you doing? Come on up. Let's begin in the, in the front group here. What do we got? All right, Courtney. You need to be responsible for who you're bringing into your life. Um, who were you hurt more by, Chris or Stacy? It would have been Stacy if, yeah. if she would have really done right. what I thought she did. Right. Now, Stacy, you heard from the audience also, that's not what a friend does. If you're going to be having a conversation with your best friend's boyfriend, you need to tell your best friend. The girl has to come first. All right, there's a code of honor between women. And it really hurt Courtney, and she, it seems like, has been a good friend, and I know you're upset that you had to come here, but she had a right to not trust you because the best friend doesn't send a picture of her butt to the, her best that. friend's That's boyfriend. I, it's I just not cool. That. You I can't do that. that. I got you, it. you learned so, from that, correct? No more. Obviously, it's never happened before. We've been friends for two and a half years. Nothing like that has ever happened. Let's go to Corey and Tiffany. Oh, Corey and Tiffany. Okay. I feel good about this. I really feel, I feel I'm good. I'm happy too. you passed the darn test. I I'm see, happy. Right. And I see the look of love when you're you're smiling at her. But why are you not taking a lie detector test? Because <laughs> she's no I'm faithful. She know I ain't. Well, why didn't you take it to prove it? it? Yeah. To prove it? I just felt like I came here for her. I felt like I, I wasn't on the spot. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's a... Corey, can you look her in the eye and say that if you've taken that test, your results would have been the same as hers? Babe, if I would have that test, it's over. You're just looking over there. You said look it's you in the eye. my eyes, not her eyes, my eyes. I mean, I'm trying to talk and trying to... Over here. <laughs> boo. Baby, boo. No, <laughs> no I would have passed that test on your that you don't know about. Tiffany, do you accept that? Do. You do accept that? Let's go in the yeah. top row here with Eric, guys... Travis, and Terry. Well, the three of you guys, I think you're all flirtatious, and I think that's great, but you need to figure out what you want in a relationship. Eric and Travis, how long have you guys been together? About uh, six or seven months. Yeah. Okay, so that's pretty new. Yeah, right. You guys have to figure out, do you want a monogamous relationship or not? The thing that upsets me is, you know, Terry. Uh, Terry, you're, you're, we're a friend to Eric, and that's just not cool. There are right. plenty of great, cute guys out there. You don't need to go for Can your I friends. Can I address one thing? Um, it wasn't just like, you know, I set out to get Travis. It's like, I felt bad. There was remorse there. But the thing is, after I apologized to Eric, it was the going on Facebook, calling me all sorts of bad names and all that. It was just like, but it doesn't matter. It, 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 it made me, let me finish though. No, it but made, it made loyal, me upset though. It's like, you don't do that. We could talk about that like men, and that didn't happen. Right. It was we like, did. It, it's like, let's go online and talk about him. You two need, Travis and Eric, you guys need to figure out what you want. Do you want a monogamous relationship? You're on all these apps, and that's cool because you're single guys. You know, you're not. You, it's six months is a new relationship. You guys have to figure out what you want. If you want monogamy, great. If you don't, that's cool too. Terry's out there having fun, and why not? But all <laughs> we have, uh, number one, want. aren't we happy Tiff, uh, <laughs> Tiffany passed the lie detector? Yes. Well, that's that. When we continue with <laughs> yeah. the bottom line, for more info, go to the website, thebillcunninghamshow.com. Yeah. The real action starts when the show is over. If you love. Time cheating lover, here's the bottom line. Lack of trust is damaging in any relationship, whether it's friendship 
or romance. Betrayal takes more than an apology. It takes work to rebuild that relationship. Distance should not be a reason for suspicion. It should make the heart grow fonder. I want to thank each of my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. Yeah.